Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about a variable in Protopy. And what is variable anyways? According to Oxford languages, variable means an element, feature, or factor that is liable to vary or change. For me, I like to simply think it as a box which can hold a value that is changeable. And how can we make this box? So if you come to the left bottom and click plus mark, you can either choose for all scenes which you can use this variable across other scenes or for only this scene that you can only use the variable that you created in that scene. So I'm going to choose for all for now and call it global box. And if you click this variable and come to the right side, you can check out a value that is stored in this, um, a type of value that you can store in this box, which is a number, text, or color. You can leave it empty, or but I'm gonna fill in uh, a box type, which is a text value, and I'm gonna override a bit later. So, okay, I created a variable and I choose a type and I fill in some value in there. And what can I do with this? I don't even see it. And you can click a box mark to see the value here. So you can see in the green, green box uh, with the variable name, global box, and what's in there, which is a box type text. Okay, so we created this variable and what can we do with it? First, I'm going to show you how to override this by creating a tab uh, trigger to the box. And I'm going to add a response called assign to this variable global box. And I can assign a new uh, text called new box. So what's going to happen now? So when I click this box, now you can see the text has changed to new box because I just put the text new box in there. So did you recognize that I put a quotation mark? It's because there's a special syntax for Protopy that you need to follow, which you can check in the Protopy website for more info. And for text item, you need to use quotation mark. Uh, this is pretty important, especially for arithmetic operation. So when you want to add something or minus, um, multiply or division, you need to distinguish if you want to use it as text or um, a number. So I'll give you another an example. So when I assign to a global box again and disable this one, and I'm going to say one plus one. So you can do this in formula input. And I hit the box again, then it's going to be two because it it added to each other but if i copy and paste this and change them as a text um, item so what's going to happen now is when i tap the box it's going to give one and one or if i change to two it's going to be one and two so it doesn't calculate and give a three and it, it, it just recognizes the text and give each items a separate number. And this is why it's important that you follow the syntax of it. But you can not only do the number, but you can also mix the number and the text component. So I will say hello plus number two oh, and disable this. And if I hit this, you're going to see hello too. And of course, you can add a space bar in the text. And then you're going to see um, hello and with a space bar and two. So you can try out uh, other different combinations to use this uh, formula input. And But I want to show you another option how you can uh, override the components. So I'm going to ma make another assign response and use the formula um, to override with a new variable. So not only the value, like static value like this, I can also add a variable inside another variable. So I'm going to add for this scene, 
which is um I'm gonna be called local box. And here I'm gonna store this time a number seven instead of text. So when I assign to the global box, um and then I press this plus button, you can see here your my variable and the layers. I'm gonna choose the local box, which is a new variable, which I stored a seven uh, number. So what's gonna happen now? So if I click, now it's printing out the seven, which I stored in the local box, which is another variable. And if I go to another scene, you're not gonna see this local, local box because it's a local. Uh, it's used as only for this scene. So I hope you get it now, like what's the difference between for all scenes and for this scene. Okay, so now we just learned how to override this with some uh, static values and variable. But I want to show you one more thing, which is a layer property. So when I assign again to a global box, and I, if I hit this FX button, you're going to have this formula uh, input. And by clicking this plus button, not only the variable you can choose, but you can also choose the one of your layers. So I'm going to choose this title, which is this title. And then it's not going to do anything if you only put this layer. You need this dot and it was, it's going to show you the properties that you can use from this title uh, layer. So for example, I'm going to use text for now. And what's gonna give me? So if I hit the box, now it's giving the text of this title, which is assigning variable. Not only the text, I can also know the opacity. So text opacity, right? So if I hit it again, you're gonna see 100, which is opacity 100%. Um, so you can definitely play around. <laughs> multiple layer properties it can provide in protopy or you can check out their official website what they are providing so not only the numeric uh, value or text um, uh, as a static uh, item or uh, variables you can also use your layer property from your design okay so this is one way you can override it but how can I use this variable on my design? Because when I turn it off, you won't see anything in your design. So I will show you one way how to do it. So I'm gonna just um, add another assign, a response for global box and use a variable to local box. So when I tap, uh, I will assign a new variable local box which uh, has a seven so what can i do here um i'm gonna add first to show you one more thing that uh, i forgot sorry <laughs> so one more thing is that you can also not only um, mix number and text you can also mix the variable and the number so if i say if i add three here it's gonna show me a 10 so when I hit here, now it's showing me a 10 because local box has the number um, um, number and which was seven, and then now it added number three. But if I have choose the seven with the text, it's gonna show like seven and three, not ten. So I just want to show you again that you can also mix with variable. But anyways, coming back to the point, so <laughs> when I tap. I'm gonna have a new variable um, overriding this global box value to this local box plus three, which is a 10. So right now you only see it here, but I'm gonna add a detect trigger to detect these changes in global box. Because right now, as you see, if I tap it, it's gonna change the value of global box. And when I see this change, I want this to print out a new text to my box value which is here and then instead of the text uh, static text i'm going to use a formula and say show me what's the current global box has inside of their box 
So can you guess what's gonna print out? Let's see. 10. <laughs> so finally, we can now use the value that you have in your design as 10. Um, I hope you get it, but let me go through it again. So what's happening now is I'm just going to delete the previous um, value and say what's happening now is when I tap this box, I'm assigning this global box a variable um, with a new variable local box plus three. And this means when I tap this, there are some changes going on. And I'm gonna, I've added this trigger to detect these changes so that I can override this text layer with the global box variable on that state. So you might be confused why it's not box type, but 10, because already global box has a new overriding value, which is 10. So now you're going to see a 10 when I um, override it. So, I mean, you can also use something else such as local box instead of text. Then when I click it, you're going to see seven while global box, global box is 10 because I've assigned in the global box as a local box plus a three, which is 10. But it doesn't necessarily uh, have to be synced with what you're shown because you assign, I've assigned something else to print in that text layer. All right, so this is all for today. I hope uh, <laughs> this helped you a little bit understand how the variable works, but I understand it's not easy to get it everything at first, but uh, I'm gonna attach in the description like some examples of videos that I already created in this channel and you can have a look what you can do with the variable and you can just try out um, with the formulas what you can do and then you're gonna slowly get there but no rush and it's not easy but um, you're gonna make it so that's it um, i hope you like this video and if you like it please subscribe press like and turn on the notification for upcoming videos and i hope to see you soon